So yesterday I was playing around with trying to create HHO more efficiently using a spark gap and ended up creating plasma ignition because I had a short in the system. So I have, uh, I, I figured I'd see how far I could take it. And so now I have AC coming into this dimmer switch, which then goes into the transformer, the microwave oven transformer. Ground goes to spark plug, ground side, and the other side goes through seri in series through this capacitor right there. And this is what that looks like. So that's a nice little spark, pretty interesting. So I'm gonna turn that off. So I wanted to see what, what would happen if I put that in water. So let's take that and make sure the power is, I'm gonna double, turn off both of these power switches because I don't want my hands touching the water. And let's just drop that in here. And let's see what happens. Now we have this is this is just regular tap water. Spark plug is fully immersed. Now let's watch what happens. Dimmer switch on. Uh oh. Make sure everything's connected. Oh. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to put some padding underneath there <laughs> so this doesn't jack up my glass desk. There we go. Let's try this again. Now the temperature of this water goes up, temperature of the microwave oven transformer goes way up. Uh, one other thing, let's, let's take a look at the watt, the wattage, the, the power that's used to, to do this. So I'm going to turn that back on. And we are at 1,128 watts and this water is boiling and producing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't... Sometimes it gets more excited than other times. Yeah, I think that a lot of that might be water vapor, but uh, some of it might be HHO. Let's turn this off. Uh, that's about it. That was pretty cool. I just wanted to, to share that. Uh, yeah. If you like the video, uh, just give me a like button. Subscribe. Thank you.